Right, let's uh, get started with this. Uh, load this data. So this is Phoenix Wright. First game, episode three. Uh, last time we did the investigation. I don't really remember much of it because it was two weeks ago and I haven't really thought about it since. Um, so we've done the investigation, now we're going to trial having remembered nothing. Court is now in session for the trial of Ms. Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honour. Uh, let's just check the court record a second, just so we know what evidence we've got to play with. <clears throat> so we've got the autopsy report. This is Mia who died. This is the person who was our boss in the first episode. Now she's dead. Um, single blunt force trauma. Uh, death was instantaneous. Um, I think the li we said the likely murder weapon was uh, this. Um, looks like a statue is actually made a, a clock and that was the murder weapon in the first episode as well. Um, we've got this conversation between Mia and her sister Maya and we're defending Maya who was accused of it so let's have a quick look at that. What's up? You haven't called in a while? Well actually there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again, what is it this time? Clock. So that's the murder weapon, it's not working, that's lame, I'm just the clock not working. Um, I had to take the clockwork out, sorry, put some papers inside, papers obviously going to be the important thing, um, and we'll see if we can get hold of those papers at some point. I see what, one of the things I've also been doing sort of last couple of weeks is playing a bit of like L.A. Noir, which is kind of like a similar thing, but kind of more of a GTA vibe to it, which is quite cool. Um, broken remains of glass light stand, broken beyond all recognition. Uh, wire tap found in the hotel room. Miss May is kind of like one of our suspects at the moment. She's meant to have witnessed the murder from across the way, but she's a little bit in trouble. And store receipt with letters written in blood on the back, that was found at the scene. Right, let's um, get back to it. The defence is ready. So Miles Edgeworth, this is the guy we're going up against. And we're going to have our opening statement from the other side. The defendant was at the scene of the crime, so we know that. And the prosecution has evidence. And we have a witness who saw her do it. Right, well that's pretty compelling. I think this is going to be hard work. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honour. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honour, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. So this is this dodgy detective who's sort of vaguely incompetent. Name and profession. Sir, my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Uh, detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map for the office to explain. Ah, so we've got this office here. That's where the body is. And we sort of came in at the top there. So that makes sense. And it's by the window as well, which doesn't really help our case. Although, if these are the windows, maybe the um, witness who was across the way might not have seen it. Cause of death, this is the blunt force trauma. Murder weapon was the statue. It's all pretty solid so far. It's heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. So, again, the casual misogyny of this game comes forth. Uh, court accepts as such as evidence. So now we've got the floor plans added as well. 
Now, detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Mayafay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Right, here we go. Got witness testimony. I think this is the only chance which we get to maybe object to stuff. Let's see. Ah, uh, we've got some people in the chat. Hello, Lola, Tiffany, uh, Tushar. Uh, you're welcome. Let's see. As soon as the phone call came, in I rushed to the scene. Two people there already. And the two people there are me. And no, Phoenix Wright being us. And Maya, who is the uh, person who was the suspect. Why we had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Ms. Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. The very moment. So this is going to be like the key thing, I think. Um, I think it was death occurred around nine o'clock at night. Um, so we've got our cross examination. Yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult to cross-examine this, I think, because there's not really much that's wrong with what he said. Um, Maya just threw something at me. When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. Oh, I suppose we could try that. Witness always slips up and says something wrong. It's worked lots of times. I can't really uh, recommend this as good advice for anyone who's uh, a future lawyer in the chat. Um, uh, just make it up as you go along. It's probably a good advice for exam season as well. Right, let's give this a try. Let's begin the cross-examination. I, I really don't know what we're going to say. I mean, I'm not questioning that, because that's just him. Ready? Again, it's pretty solid stuff. I think we're just going to end up annoying the judge if we start pressing up on this. Um, let's jump in here just to see what happens. The witness saw Ms. Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. This is weird though because it's kind of like must have already seen, had a description from the person from across the way or something. Nothing suspicious. I suppose this is a little bit fishy. Seeing it at the very moment. So jump in again. Hey Renu, thank you for jumping in and I am a god, so thanks. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it correct. Did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? W what? Miss May isn't suspicious and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Well, I, I guess she is Pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Oh, I think we've... Uh, we scored one there. Probably got lucky. 
Ah, oh, no. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Okay, we're doing it again. Hard evidence this time. Maybe this will give us something a little bit more to press back on. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it the word Maya was written clearly in blood. And I suppose we don't know it's blood, we could press him on that. And we don't know whose... Oh, lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Ah, that's not great. Blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. That's my hard evidence. I suppose we don't know that it was writing the killer's name is the main thing. Your Honour, why didn't you testify about that vital piece of evidence the first time? Ah, uh, uh, I know. I'm really embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honour, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well, the defence may begin its cross-examination. Hey, this is us again. Hey, I found a mirror. Her mayor's written in blood. Showed that the blood was the victim's. Blood found on the victim's finger. I've not really heard much about that. Uh, and we'll press on this. Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Well, we might have here. Oh, oh. Sure, it happens all the time in books and the movies. This isn't a movie, Detective. Oof. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Hmm, I guess I haven't heard many of the cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down the name, especially the name of her own sister? There we go, we got it! Oh no, just when I think things are going right here, we get absolutely screwed over. Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of the killer. Other, other. That didn't go so well. Th that, that's right, what he said. That's his whole testimony. Okay, there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. Oh, God. Uh, any ideas? What have we even got? So we've got the receipt itself. Got the plan that we've just seen. Maybe it's that the um blood that was on her finger came from the glass shards? This is difficult man. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Let's um... Um, I guess maybe the idea is that if the lab shows that they are, that it's her blood, but they are related because they're sisters, maybe it's kind of like the same thing. So we could 
challenge. Here. Oh god, this is going to go horribly. Let's see. Oh dear, we're in trouble now. Let's see if we can press on this and try and try the old uh, family angle. Uh, here they keep the hema hemoglobin. I know experts on blood tests. Yes, that's quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. Was the blood on her finger the same as the receipt? Think more basic. Yeah, probably think more basic is not a bad idea either. Uh, let's see if we can um, try that then. The blood and the finger. Blood was the victims. Let's try and present the receipt then here and we'll see if this works. This is Melissa's suggestion, so if it doesn't work, you can blame her. Oh, jeez. Well, we could try presenting the receipt here instead. I'm really struggling now. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I think we're in a lot of trouble. After securing the suspect, I was the crime with my own eyes. Found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Yeah, we know that. There's nothing contradictory there. On it, the word mayor was cle written clearly in blood. Yeah, we've seen that. I don't know what else we've got to present. <laughs> well, we're in trouble here, people. Looks like a statue, actually a clock, broken shut glass, we've got a conversation, trauma.
Wow. To do with the autopsy report. We could try the autopsy report. Hmm. Single blunt force trauma. Suppose maybe if it was blunt force trauma, how much blood would there be? present the autopsy report then here. Oh, -ho. might be onto it. Well done. Leon. <laughs> Leon's got it. Well done. What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? Leon should obviously be playing this game instead of me. Uh, you have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But, no butting your way out of this one, detective. Well done. The defence has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. There we go, pure logic. Mr Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? Oh Christ. The prosecution's point being that autopsy report is outdated, Your Honour. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. Oh man, this is terrible. Almost immediate. We're in trouble now. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honour, it's quite easy to imagine the victim did have time to write Mayor. That is all. Now see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Yeah, no. No surprise there. Uh, I'm not really sure anyone's a... a sham. Um... Let's just get angry at him. I don't know where he's got this autopsy report from. We'll, uh, we'll challenge him on it. I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Oh dear. No matter, Your Honour, Mr. Wright, say what you will, the evidence in this report is undeniable. Your Honour, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. There we go. And that's our conclusion.
the prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Ah, so this is the girl who's uh, a lot of trouble herself, so let's see how we get on with her. This is June, May. April, May. There we go. Kind of remember her name. So this uh, this young lady was very suspicious. She was the one who uh, was in the hotel room opposite. And uh, she was watching it, um, possibly with someone else. April, May, at your service. This is just... Uh, I'm not sure if she's dressed appropriately for court, but uh, we'll, we'll ignore that. Order, an introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Oh, yes, Your Honour. This is not good. So, where was she at the night of the murder? I was like, in my hotel room? Tee hee. I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fane Company law offices. Mmm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. So, here we go. Maybe we can do more here. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Well, Your Honour, I see, it is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any... Wait, Your Honour. Yes, Mr Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr Wright, I understand you were Miss Mayor, Mayor Faye's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Um, there wasn't too much there that was sort of off. Um, let's pick it up. This might be our only chance. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. I don't know how much we've actually got to present with, really. Because um, there was some stuff in her hotel room that we saw last time. But I don't know how much of that we took. I think we only got this wiretap. But I don't know what the wiretap really contradicts in the report. Ooh, with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Let's um, see if we can push her on that. Let's see if she can make the positive ID. She had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person that was seen in the crime with a short girlish figure. 
and testimony is bulletproof, Your Honour. Uh, let's just get out of this. So, what happened to the victim? Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away, but that girl, she caught up to her and hit her. Let's press. Yeah. I think you're right, you're right again, Leon. Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. I sort of, you know, I had a feeling. Yeah, let's uh, let let's press expert lawyer Leon going for it. You must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I oh objection. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Or the Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl. What about poor me? Oh dear. Woman with long hair being attacked. There's nothing. Nothing that stands out as a contradiction. Uh, we could see her hitting her, and whether it was with the statue. Dodged to one side and ran away. I wonder if that's something. Yeah, you might be right, Melissa. What did she hit her with? Let's, uh, she hit her. Right. <clears throat> what could it be? I have no idea what we're doing here. <clears throat> what can we hear? Let's um, see if she was hitting her with the statue then. Hmm. 
<clears throat> oh dear. Well, I don't know if we could use the wiretap for something, but we don't really know what's on the wiretap. Identifying the attacker is not bulletproof. Right, we can press on that. Let's uh, press then. How do you know she was the defendant? Let's uh, let's press on it then. Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. Uh, what do we think? Let's go with... If she's lying, then we're going to have to sort of prove it, which is going to be difficult. Let's go for it. What's the meaning of this? If you had really witnessed my client, Mina Fey, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. This is this is this is uh, obscure to say the least. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But but. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honour. I saw her, and so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Ah! What are you trying to say? You mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honour. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Wink. Your testimony again, if you would. So close. Right. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That clock. Um, the kind of statuary clock. The thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? I wonder how she saw it was the statue. Right, let's jump in.
wonder if we can see the floor plan. She dodged the first attack in and went off to the right, which has caused this statue to go. So we can see the window at the bottom, we can see what she would have seen. So she dodged the first attack and went off to the right. How has she seen the first attack? Because it surely would have been by that light stand. I think that might be the key. Let's uh, let's at least press on it first. Your right as you look from the hotel. Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Right, it was my right. Let's, uh, let's present the floor plan. Uh-oh. I think we're done, lads. Ah, oh, there we go. All out of luck. I think you're probably right about the statue from that distance. That's probably where we should have uh, should have gone for. Guilty. Game over. Right. Well, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it didn't go quite as planned, but um, I hope you had fun. Um, I certainly did. Uh, and uh, yeah, we might try it again some other time. I might skip this one and uh, just go on to something else, but uh, we'll see how we go. Right, ta a bit.